Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to this week's video. This week is a vlog of me getting from the UK to Argentina. Now it takes place over about a week because I decided to include uh, my little trip to London uh, to get my visa. So I think let's get straight into it. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about what's going on, please do stick them in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't already because next week there'll be a video of my first week actually living in Argentina and guess what? I'm already here. So exciting things coming. Let's get into it. Part one of getting to Argentina is having the right documents. And as I said in my previous video, getting a visa is obviously key. Um, I had my appointment this morning and I'm just going back to the consulate in London to pick up my passport, which will hopefully have the visa in it. Um, I had to wake up ridiculously early more this morning to get to London on time for my appointment and uh, I'm heading to Oxford to see the gang one last time before heading off to Argentina after this. So, yeah, fingers crossed this bit goes smoothly and I can catch my train. Um, lots of paperwork had to be done, quite a lot of money had to be paid, um, but we should be good to go. And step one, sorry I didn't film earlier on, earlier on, but I was absolutely shattered and feeling a bit grim if I'm honest, is now complete. Part two of getting to Argentina is making sure I have everything. Now that the visa's been done, I've kind of uh, very quickly realized that uh, I need a few things before I go. Um, I bought myself a power adapter, uh, so we should be good on that front. And today I went into Bath, uh, picked up a pair of secondhand beige chinos for five quid, absolute bargain. Um, and a couple of white shirts because um, the prefects at the school, sort of the helping teachers, have a dress code of some description. Um, and I got it confirmed to me yesterday when I spoke to my supervisor. So I went into town to get that sorted. Always nice to be out on the bike. Um, probably won't get to do much cycling in Argentina while I'm there. So making the most of it. And um, yeah, last night we spoke a little bit more about what's going on when I get to the airport um, at 2 a.m. But uh, hopefully I'll take you through all of that later on. Um, so the rest of uh, step two is basically going to be me packing, hoping I don't forget anything and trying to take into account the fact that I'll be there when it's 30 degrees and I'll be there when it's about five, which to be fair, is like it was in France. Um, but I obviously have a bit less room to pack this time. Uh, on the other hand, having a dress code does mean that I don't really need to worry too much about looking good in different outfits every day of the week. So yeah, anyway, I'll catch up with you later with uh, maybe some packing time lapses. It's Monday morning and I'm leaving very early on Thursday. So not long to go. I'm very excited. It is lunchtime on Wednesday. I am leaving tomorrow morning at four o'clock and uh, I thought I'd come outside for a bit. Lovely sunshine to read my book and uh, drink some honey and lemon because I don't know if you can tell from my voice, I have the beginnings of a cold, joy. Um, I've been packing all morning. I hate packing, but uh, I've got most of my clothes done. I've got my toiletry sort of sorted out. Um, and so far, so good in terms of space. Uh, I might be adding a few extra things that I didn't think I'd be able to bring, which is nice. And yeah, that'll be the rest of my afternoon, I think. Um, 24 hours of travel, basically, from tomorrow morning, which is going to be very long, I think. Um, yeah. But it's exciting, it's the first long haul flight I've been on for probably 10, 14, 14 years. So I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. The cold has put a dampener on things, um, but I'm feeling better actually just being in some sunlight after trying to get things organized packing this morning. So um, yeah, let's see how the rest of it goes. 
it is evening on Wednesday. Uh, I'm pretty much done packing wise. There are just two or three things that need to go in to the bags that I want to have with me on the plane tomorrow. Uh, I'm currently making a batch of OT gingery, not gingery, cinnamony and raisin cookies uh, to give to my supervisor for all the work she's done getting me to Argentina. And also I wanted to eat some myself, so I felt like this was a good opportunity. It's also something nice to help me relax this evening uh, before heading off, because obviously it's quite a big thing. So yeah, I will probably catch up with you tomorrow morning. This is part two, getting ready to go, finished. Part 3.1, I'm awake, a sandwich has been made, I'll be making a cup of tea, bring in the car so that we can drive to Bristol Airport. So it begins. <laughs> two to go uh it's 10 past nine here in amsterdam and uh, i'm already at the gate for my next flight with an hour and 40 minutes until it departs so i've got plenty of time thankfully i didn't have to do one of skipple's famously long walks from one gate to another so i was quite lucky with that and um yeah all is good i'm still quite bunged up uh but i've woken up a bit more i might have a bit a fruit uh, and something else to eat. Um, yeah, ready to go for this next one. Looking forward to it, sort of. When I was checking in for my flights, KLM asked me whether I wanted to pay for an entire row of seats, because the flight was gonna be quite empty. Um, and I had a look at the seat map and I would picked a seat uh, in the middle of the aircraft, so four seats in the aisle. And uh, when I looked, the whole row was still free. Uh, and also I'm not going to pay £100 uh, pounds for three spare seats. Like, I'll get away, I'll just deal with it if there are other people there. But I'm hoping that those three seats are still free. Because in that case, I've basically got a premium economy for cheap. And I can lie across all of them to have a nap. That is the dream. Whether or not it will happen, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, but yes, so there we go. Bit of waiting now and then uh, we'll get on. hours and I'm on what feels like a one million mile walk through Sao Paulo airport to my gate. Um, all good, we landed a little bit delayed which means less time between my flights which is also good because it means less sitting around in an airport but uh, I'm, yeah, I'm absolutely shattered at this point so I'm going to get on the travel later to ease things up a bit. Update after walking for what feels like forever. I feel like I'm gonna fall over. Not, not joking. Hello, 
I didn't want to film after the airport in Sao Paulo because once we landed in Cordoba, I just wanted to get out of there. Um, everything went smoothly. I got briefly stopped by customs, but uh, that was fine. My supervisor was there already uh, to pick me up, came straight to her house, had a shower, went to sleep, and uh, it's now quarter past eight in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna get up and get ready to do various things. Oh, there was a lot of turbulence towards the end of the last flight. I still managed to sleep about two hours. Uh, but at the end of the day, I was awake for about 25 hours with about four hours sleep within that, which was quite tough. Um, but anyway, I'll catch up with you again once I've uh, been to the school to have a look around um, and moved into my Airbnb. Hello, it is now Saturday, so I did leave it a day um, because I was quite busy yesterday, actually. Um, had breakfast, went for a walk around. Um, near where my supervisor lives. Then her son very kindly took me to get a SIM card, which I still need to activate, actually. That is a job for today. Um, I then went to the school um, to have a look around. Everyone was really lovely, actually. I really enjoyed just seeing where I'd be working. And then I went... Where did I go? Well, I came here. This is my place of residence for at least a month and then if things go well I'll extend it probably just to save myself moving again. I'll talk you through it at some point I'm sure. It's very big and very nice and I then went shopping. There's a fairly decent like food shopping place a couple of blocks that way. I can't remember the direction and then I came home started making dinner nearly fell asleep while making dinner uh, so I stopped and went to bed and then I woke up this morning, had breakfast and I'm currently sort of unpacking a bit. Um, I don't know if you can see the suitcase is half empty, but I got bored so I thought I would film the end of this video. So this is me sort of getting to Argentina, the end of part three. I've made it. I'm still very tired. Very tired. Uh, but uh, it's nice to be here. I've got two days to recover. On Monday, I might need to do some admin. I might need to go and get like the equivalent of a national insurance number and you have to go in person for that. So I might not actually be working yet on Monday, but uh, we'll see. And uh, I mean, I hope it gets sunnier again today. Uh, we'll see. But um, yeah, it's apparently hotter here than it usually is at this time of year. It's about 30 degrees and mm, near enough. 80-90% humidity. But yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Sorry if I've been a bit tired because, uh, and a bit mm mm, -mm uh, but I am shattered. If you have any questions about any part of this video, me moving, uh, do stick them in the comment section below. I will get back to you and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned.